Yo, what up guys, this is your boy Legendary here and I'm back. We're gonna be talking about the new Yusei cars that just came out and the new Legendary Duelist Pack 6. You guys already should have seen my uh, new support for Jaden Yugi video. That car, those cards were just absolutely stunning. Um, and these cards are also absolutely amazing for Yusei, obviously. I mean, he is the best character uh, for a lot of people and one of the strongest, so it only makes sense. But yeah, he got some really great support. So let's just start looking through it. We got Satellite Warrior. Let's just look at the artwork real quick. He actually has some pretty uh, nice artwork there. So that's Satellite Warrior. Uh, his effect is it's a level 10 Synchro or uh, Warrior Synchro monster. 2500 attack, 2000 defense. Doesn't seem very strong for level 10, but he gets very strong with his effects. It's Synchro Materials is one tuner plus uh, one non-tuner synchro monster or one or more non-tuner synchro monster you can only use each of the first and second effect once per turn so its first effect reads if this card is synchro summoned you could target cards your opponent controls up to the number of synchro monsters in your graveyard destroy them and if you do this card gains a thousand attack for each card destroyed by this effect all right like literally that's already good enough it doesn't even need a second effect um but it does have a second effect. But its first effect is already awesome. As soon as he's summoned onto the field, a nice level 10 synchro. You get to uh, pop cards. Uh, your opponent controls up to the number of synchros in your graveyard. By the time you summon him, you'll have at least maybe two or three. So you get to pop two or three, or at the very least one, but let's say two or three. And then he'll gain a thousand for each card destroyed by this effect. So you'll gain 2,000 or 3,000 or even 4,000 attack points. Um, so he'll be at up to 4500 and if you have five or more cards uh synchros in the grave and you were able to pop five or more cards just forget it. This, this card is just going to be ridiculously uh high in attack so just like kind of Jaden support where you got a bunch of cards that just increase the attack points of your monsters this card same exact thing really same thing its second effect reads if this card if this synchro summon card is destroyed you could special summon up to three level eight or lower warrior, synchron, and or starter synchro monsters with different names from your graveyard. So special summon up to three. So that's cool. So and it's level eight or lower. So keep that in mind. It's not anything. So essentially, it's starter dragon or pretty much any of your uh, warrior synchro monsters, which is basically road warrior. Um, junk warrior and all the other ones that have warrior in their name so all of them can be special summoned and or synchron so that includes a formula synchron um and i think jet synchron as well so that's really awesome and you can special summon up to three so you get rid of him and you basically get your materials back because he is one tuner one or more uh non-tuner synchro monsters so one of them could be a synchro tuner but the other one can't be a synchro tuner as well so you gotta like I'll keep that in mind too but yeah so satellite warrior really powerful effect if he doesn't kill you already and you find a way to kill him then you can he just brings out three synchros from the graveyard and then he could go for axel synchro plays again oh actually that is really cool actually because let's say you you know axel synchro for this card um and then you know you you do a bunch of stuff and then they manage to kill your monster you bring out uh, the three monsters and then you can sync again because formula synchron has an effect where you could synchro summon during your opponent's main phase i believe so if it gets popped during the main phase you could bring them out and then bring him out again so that is actually really strong really strong and the effects of the monsters aren't negated so that's really good but yeah so satellite warrior without without a doubt a very strong card very powerful uh next we got uh, satellite synchron it's a level 2 dark machine tuner effect monster 700 attack 100 defense its effect reads uh, you can only use each of the these effects once per turn its first effect is if a monster or monsters is special summon from your graveyard aka quillbow hedgehog <laughs> uh, special summon this card from your from your hand so, so this is already really good because he has a lot of cards that come back from the graveyard. His deck really focuses on kind of setting up your graveyard and then kind of swarming from the grave and from your hand uh, to go for your synchro plays and stuff. So obviously, Quobolt is the first example you can think of. You send, you know, Quobolt's already in the graveyard. You summon a tuner monster. Uh, you special summon uh, Quobolt from the graveyard. And then you special summon this from your hand. And you already have... Uh, four stars plus whatever other monster you summon so that can help you go for starters dragon right there but its second effect also allows you 
to go for Star Dragon a little bit easier. Because sometimes Summoning Star just can be a little bit tricky in his deck. So th the second effect actually helps. If there is a Synchro monster or monsters on the field and or in your gr graveyard with Warrior, Synchron, or Stardust in its original name, you can make this card's level become 4 until the end of the turn. You could basically, let's say you summon... I'm trying to think of a good level 4 that comes back from the graveyard and you say his deck. I can't really think of it off the top of my head. Um, let's say you, you summon a tuner. I can't really think of, of, a, of, a, of a good play in my head right now. But if you control any of these guys in the graveyard, Warrior, Synchron, or Starrest in your graveyard, or on the field, you can make this card a level 4, and then summon a level 4, Synchro Summon, and go for a Stardust, or another level 8, or whatever that, that you have, uh, or Junk Speeder and go off, because Junk Speeder is absolutely amazing. But I couldn't really think of the plays off the top of my head, um, so I, I'm sorry for that. Uh, I'm more equipped with Jaden's deck than Yusei's deck, but um, yeah, really amazing card. Really easy to understand. You just special summon it when you special summon something from the graveyard, and then you can make it a level four if you control any of those guys on the field or in the graveyard. So he can be be either a level two or a level four tuner monster. So that's amazing, and that's good because you say really needs like a level four uh, synchro monster that's not bad because um, uh, he has some level four synchros that are not that great. Uh, sorry, level 4 tuners that are not that great, but this card can become a level 4 and it's good and it's not that hard to activate. It's really good. And finally, we have the final trap card, Scrap Iron Signal. It's a counter trap. Like you say, really needed a counter trap at all. Does not need it. But he has it, and there we go. Uh, so, Scrap Iron Signal. Counter trap. You can only activate one of these cards per turn. Um... When your opponent activates a monster effect while you control a synchro monster that requires a synchro monster as material, monster or monsters as material, negate the activation. Also, after that, set this card face down instead of sending it to the graveyard. So, this wasn't as busted as I first thought it was, because before that, I, I, I completely ignored the you have to control a synchro monster that requires a synchro uh, mo monsters as material. I completely ignored that. I just saw... All I saw was negate, reset it, next turn you can negate again. That's all that I saw in my head. And I'm just like, oh my god, why? But then I read it and I'm like, alright, so it's a little more balanced out. It's somewhat hard to summon, but not really. You can make it work. I mean, with these new cards, um, Satellite Synchron and Satellite Warrior, and even the, the, the new card, what's it called? Um, Synchro... Was a Synchro Connection or Synchro Speeder? I, I forgot what it was called. The, the Continuous Spell card that I reviewed last time. I forgot what it was called. But uh, that card helps you Synchro Summon as well. Um, uh, a lot. Helps you mass Synchro Summon. Better. So honestly, having this card won't even be that bad, to be honest. Because you say Synchro Summons very easily in his deck. Either turn 1 or definitely turn 2. He'll already have Synchro Materials. And with all these cards, honestly, it's not that hard. You say his deck is very can be very fast if you want it to be and uh it's honestly just very very strong so this card is good it's not it's not that bad but it's really strong it only negates monster effects which is fine you know if it negated everything i would be kind of upset because you could reset it and activate it again the next turn so i think that's a little busted but having a, a monster effect negation is good i guess he could use that but he really doesn't need it come on he's used to he's negate king Let's be real. He just negates everything. So the fact that he has a counter trap scrap iron card, it's just ridiculous. But very powerful. I can't complain. But yeah, that's the support right there, guys. Uh, Satellite Warrior, absolutely amazing. Axel Synchro Monster. Um, Satellite Warrior, amazing Synchron. That really helps you go for Stardust and other Warrior Synchro Monsters a lot smoother and faster. And then we also got uh, Scrap Iron, which speaks for itself. It's a, it's a monster effect negation that resets itself. So... It is what it is. But yeah, that's the new UC support. It's really good, really amazing. Just as good as the Jaden support. Honestly, all the support in this box has been pretty amazing so far. So I can't really complain. It's been fantastic. But yeah, hope you guys enjoyed. Thank you guys for watching. Tell me what you guys think about these UC cards. Do you like it? What do you like about it? What don't you like about it? Um, do you wish it was better? Do you wish it was slightly less powerful? I don't know. But yeah, just tell me what you guys think. God bless you guys. Thank you guys for everything. Riding Duel Acceleration. Thank you.